There are six standard trigonometric functions, and you should be able to differentiate all of them. This video is going to be short because there's not a lot to concretely say about this, other than giving you the differentiation formulas. But memorizing these should be a top priority. We're going to start using them immediately, and then we're going to keep using them for all of calculus one, all of calculus two, all of calculus three, and differential equations. The derivative of the sine is the cosine. And now maybe going in a different order than you'd expect. Instead of stating the derivative of the cosine, we'll state the derivative of the tangent, which is the secant squared. And then we'll state the derivative of the secant which is the secant of x time is the tangent of x. And the reason I did these in this order is to try to tease out a pattern. The derivative of the co-functions are all going to have a negative sign in front of them. And then what goes after the negative sign is similar to what we have up here, except that our functions are going to turn into co-functions and vice versa. So the co-sine becomes the sine, the secant squared becomes the cosecant squared, the secant times the tangent becomes the cosecant times the cotangent. Did you remember, by the way, probably not, it was way back in the first week, in section 1.3, when we were doing trig review, I said that the sine, cosine, and tangent were the most important trig functions, and that the secant came next? Well, that's because if you have the tangent and you take its derivative, the, sorry, didn't mean to uncover that. If you have the tangent and you take its derivative, the secant appears. And then if you have the secant and take its derivative, 
you don't get cosecants and cotangents, you just have secants and tangents. So the sine, cosine, tangent, and secant form a self-contained set in the sense that if you start with any of these trig functions and take their derivatives, you end up with the same four trig functions you started with. So that's what makes the secant important. It kind of inherits its importance from the tangent function.